good? This is your boy Vega, aka Vega the Chosen from the Hip Hop Heads Podcast, the CryptOnline.com, all that good stuff off the your old Droog Yodfather fame. Yo, it's Tuesday, November 1st, day after Halloween. Just learned last night that, or this morning for that matter, that Miko's uh, rapper Takeoff was killed in Houston. Uh, during a dice game it's uh, very sad and we talk about this stuff all the time on the show where where things like this happen pretty frequently in hip hop where people are constantly being murdered um, it's really fucked up um, but you also have to look at these situations um, when you are in these situations excuse me that you really need to evaluate what's going on what you're doing and if you're in a position uh, like a takeoff or someone on his uh, level of fame and things like this, you really have to be careful of what you're doing. Um, it's just sad. You know, he's at a bowling alley. Things are probably going great. He's having a great night. He goes outside to play some dice with some some folks, and he's killed in front of his his uncle or cousin. Um, I know that the other rappers in Miko's, are, they're all related uh, Quavo and Offset and Takeoff, uh, they're all family, and it's just a really sad situation, and you have to, you, and it sucks that you can't, like, just to go out and enjoy yourself like that, that you have to watch every move you make, uh, and be very careful of who you roll with, who you're around, and, um, if you know them or not, it, you just gotta be very safe out there, um, and when you're, when you're rich, I mean, I don't know what kind of stakes were on the line for this dice game. I assume they, they got some money going because, you know, these guys aren't broke. Uh, but even if you're doing it just for fun, you know, you saw during that Michael Jordan documentary, he would hustle people for freaking quarters just because he was a freaking just into gambling. So, I mean, if you come against one of these people and you, you whoop their ass and some, something, you know, they might uh, get offended and retaliate. Maybe that's what we saw yesterday with this. The whole thing was caught in film too, which is just crazy about these situations. I hope, um, you know, I hope they can use that as evidence to, you know, capture this killer if they haven't caught him already. And I hope they really throw the book at him. It's just really horrible and just sad and, um, just tired of these young men being killed. He was only 28 years old. I remember I first covered this guy over, uh, over 10 years ago on the website when Migos was still underground before they blew up. And, um, it's hard to think that, you know, this guy was a teenager, uh, probably when I covered his music, you know, a decade ago. And now he's, uh, he's gone. It's really sad. Um, so here at the hip hop heads podcast, we want to say rest in peace, uh, to take off and his family and, you know, all his loved ones and stuff, man, sucks. Peace. We'll check you next week.